Hey there, I want to show you what I consider to be a great modification to the um, bell siphon system. You'll notice, um, well what I'll show you, this is a clear plastic cup that we put on here to so you can see the system, but what we've done, and this is my roommate that came up with all of this, Mike, the, we ran a tube up into the actual standpipe itself, because what we saw is when we put one into the side, you normally see them into the side of the actual bell, and when you put them into the side of the bell, we noticed the, the bubbles were going straight over to the tube and trying to be sucked down the tube. And since that's where all the, the vacuum happens to be, we'll, uh, we'll set that on there and get it going, but I'll show you what we did. So he uh, just drilled a hole in the side of the tube, ran a piece of uh, clear pipe in this case up through it at an angle. So you still have plenty of flow past the tube. And this one's obviously long, just to, it'll be cut to length later as will the tube. And then when it's down in the, when it's down in the pipe, you just bend the tube around and it go, comes up from underneath the cap, underneath the bell. And so when it starts to flow, you can see that it, uh, it flows over the top like usual. And I'll just let it roll here because you'll see it flowing. What it's allowed me to do, it breaks so effectively, it's draining right now, it breaks so effectively that I've been able to greatly increase the volume of water that flows into my bed. And I've taken the cycle time from 15 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes down to anywhere from four to five minutes depending on how much water I flow. It does do one gurgle and I think you can see down in there, way down in there, is the tube just running out the side. And you'll see when it gets down to it, it starts to suck air, but it still won't go under the under the edge of the, the bell until the water's down to the to the very bottom of the bell. And uh, it'll take just a second here. It's almost done draining. And you'll also notice right here where you see the, the tube coming up, you can see there's a little little bit of air at the top of the bell but it's draining pretty strongly and this is just a um, Gatorade bottle that had the top cap cut off it and down at the bottom there you see it's about to reach the tube and you'll see air start to draw into the tube end when that water gets there right there and it breaks oh it didn't break it almost it takes one gurgle and then it'll get air again and you'll see the air bubbles right there, and it breaks it. Boom. It's just, it's so much more efficient. I can run so much more water, and so I'm cycling faster, and in this kind of heat, I like to have moisture available more often, but still get all that oxygen pulled down in there. I hope that helps.